All right, guys, one of one kennels, and I'm here to discuss a phrase that we hear people say oftentimes inside the working Patterdale Terrier world, and that phrase is, papers do not matter, quote, unquote. You guys think this is true? I wonder what your, uh, your take is on it before I go into my take and my opinion. Um, and so that's exactly it. This video reflects my opinion. I understand that I'm not always right. I understand that um, other people have their own opinions and I respect their opinions. Um, this video is being made for people who are new into the dogs to give them some insight and to give them some information as I found it hard to find that when I was new into the dogs. Um, and this video is made for individuals who are not new into the dogs but who enjoy listening to someone have an intellectual conversation about the dogs. If you are one of the people that are here just to listen to this and hate and nitpick every bit of it, please do me a favor, do yourself a favor, and of utmost importance, do your dogs a favor. Do not watch this video. Go spend some time with your dogs. All right, so there we have that out the way. Let's get down to business. So the question is, is the phrase, papers don't matter, true? Or is it false? Is it a good way to think? Or is it a wrong way to think? Which direction is it taking you? So again, papers don't matter, quote, unquote. Now the biggest issue that I find initially is that People tend to have a really broad spectrum about certain definitions and certain people don't agree with certain definitions and what the definitions for certain words are um, inside of the dog world. And so I think at first we have to come to a place where we can say, okay, this is by definition what is meant by papers. So when I hear the words papers, what I think of and what I am pretty certain by definition, you know, Webster definition would be papers are the actual registration paperwork that you would get back from the registry if you registered your dogs. So if I register Cocker's Mayhem with the PTCA as he is registered with them, um... They will send me back my papers. And the papers are just the kennel club signing off saying that they condone, accept, approve, and according to all of their knowledge, stand by the pedigree that's written on that paper. That is what papers are to me, and I am pretty certain that's what it is uh, in the Webster Dictionary. Now, I see a lot of guys get into a place where some gentlemen will be talking about pedigrees and pedigrees are different than paperwork um, and men will jump into and say papers don't matter. Now, a pedigree is not the same thing as papers and papers are not the same thing as a pedigree. You see, every dog on this planet has a pedigree. Not every dog on this planet has papers. So, back to our question. Do papers matter? I have to go again with, for the most part, no. Are they valuable? Overall, yes. But do they truly matter in a working program? No. They don't. Unless you're getting this dog, you know, somewhere down the line and you need a third party to confirm that this is the way that the dog is bred up. You know, that would be your value there. Um, but there's a lot of hanging that goes on inside of uh, registries. You cannot believe all registries. So, that being said, not all dogs have papers. All dogs have pedigrees. Do pedigrees matter? Absolutely. And that's where I have a hard time where some people say papers don't matter because they're accidentally or ignorantly um, changing, interchanging the two words and their definitions. If we talk about 
a dog like Mayhem being a double bred son off of the end dog. Um, and then they jump out and say, hey, papers don't matter. By definition of what they're saying, technically they're right. However, we're not talking about papers. We're talking about pedigrees. So let's get into pedigrees. What does a pedigree matter? What value is a pedigree? Right? These are all things that people think about, talk about. Now, again, I can only give you my opinion and my perception. Um, And for me, pedigrees do matter. What is a pedigree? A pedigree is a family tree of your dog. All dogs have a family tree. You may not know the family tree to your dog. However, it has a family tree. So how do I utilize a pedigree? I utilize a pedigree to give me an idea of potential. What type of potential that could be there. And it may not be there, but it could be there. Right? So you can have an idea of the potential type of producer your dog will be based off of how they are bred up and their pedigree. Um, You can have an idea of what potential type of worker they will be based off, off of their pedigree. This is actually extremely true for highly refined breeds such as a game bred American Pit Bull Terrier. People who have real experience and know what they're doing in those dogs can tell you after watching a dog work how that dog is likely to be bred up. You know, examples, Eli's dogs are known to have a ton of mouth. Um, They don't tend to be the gamest dogs on the planet. Um, They're kind of straightforward dogs and they try to bite things down. When you see those traits in a working game bred American Pit Bull Terrier, you know, hey, that dog could be, you know, Eli bred. Um, Bolio dogs are known for dancing, moving around, swift on their feet, you know. Um, and so you'll see a lot of them do, do that type of behavior when they're, when they're hunting. So you'll, you'll be able to identify some of those things. Patterdales are still being developed to where they're refined to the point of the American Pit Bull Terrier. Um, And I think that a lot of the reason they are not as refined is because there's such a lack of integrity within the community. Lack of integrity about honest breedings, lack of integrity about crosses the other breeds of dogs, lack of integrity about stories of how the dog worked, lack of integrity about breeding dogs that have quit, lack of integrity about Breeding dogs that they've never seen work at all. So now again, the pedigree only gives us an idea of what the potential could be. So think about that for a second. If I have a dog that is double bred off of a quitter, I know there's some good potential that there's going to be some quitter. Some quitters inside of the the litter, or that dog itself might be a quitter. And I know that from then on, I have to be extra careful about anything that I accept off of that dog because quitting is inside of its blood. I could have a dog that is off of nothing but hard dogs. And based on it being bred, doubled up off of, you know, a couple of those, He's likely to produce some harder dogs. So your pedigree gives you an idea of your potential and what you may be able to to, to get out of the dog. Um, but it's not an absolute. It is a roadmap and a, a guide to assist a good breeding program. So pedigrees do matter. Technically speaking, paperwork does not matter. Now, where I will say that that is wrong that maybe we can actually argue that paperwork does matter, right? And obviously, that that only matters when there's a certain level of integrity. Inside of the Patterdale Terriers, especially in America, well, I can't even say especially in America. This is happening rampantly overseas as well. Hanging papers is a very, very common thing. It's incredibly common. So there has to be some accountability to hold breeders accountable for not lying about how the dog is bred so that that way the next person knows what to do with that dog. 
One of the best ways to do that is through registering your dogs. They help you keep track of how the dogs are bred. Now, here's the deal. If you really want to take it a step further as far as integrity, you will get the DNA profiling as well. But a lot of breeders are not going to do this. And keep in mind that just because a breeder does this does not mean that they are legit. You can hang papers on a DNA profile dog especially if you know what you, you're doing. The key is to stay away from people who have a history of hanging papers because they did not respect the system enough to avoid doing that from the get-go. So do papers matter? Big scheme of thing for me, I have to say no, but I have my yard, I'm established where I'm going, and the papers don't matter. For someone, you know, looking for an ideal dog um, to start a line, to start working, to do any of the above, papers have a whole nother level of value at that point in time. Um, so, you know, you can make an argument either way. However, when you're speaking about pedigrees and someone jumps in and say papers doesn't matter, one, you're talking to someone that's thinking way faster than what they should be. They need to slow down and really digest what was said and what the conversation is about. And, um, and two, if you're talking about pedigrees, they're absolutely wrong. Pedigrees do matter. There are good pedigrees out there. There are bad pedigrees out there. There are dogs that are act just like their pedigree says they should, and there are dogs that do not. Um, it just works that way. So, again, I uh, hope this is just good conversation. This is a one of one signing out. I hope everyone's staying out there uh, good, safe, and uh, hunting. You guys take care. Good work, big man.